morning, everybody. So, before mum and dad get here, what we're going to do is just empty this drum into these two drums because then we've got a full drum for this morning. So, we're ready to go. Let's give it a quick stir. And it's still some taste. So, it's beef. Alright, we're just shifting that milk over. And one cow left. Yep, we have one naughty heifer decided to kick bum this morning. That's all right. She's up there. I had to, I had to get the rope, rope her up, tie her to the rail, and then cup her up because she's just too aggressive. So, yep. But what happened there was we got too much room. So next time we'll just tighten them up tonight, push them up a bit harder. But it'll be all right. We got. A few more cows coming into the milkers tonight, so. Oh good, ready for some glass from cows shortly. It's waiting on one girl to finish here. Yeah, that's another two, four, six, seven for the milking mob. They already sorted them out, and that one over there, that's the colostrum mob heading back out again. Starting to wash up now, putting the first rinse cycle through. And look at that, pulled the drum off one milker. Go ahead, colostrum. Each of them girls over there. So, Dad does it, he makes a mix. A mix of uh, this morning's milk and a mix of yesterday's, well, last night's milk. Gives that to the carvies. They like it. They'll drink it. Nice warm colostrum. I don't know. Master. Change our tactic this morning. I've just finished washing up. I've left the older pins. Gonna feed the younger pins this morning. And get on to that, so we can get the bobbies in the pen. First thing. He's down there today, he's got the hard job. Looking after the little carvies. I'm just gonna stay here, look after these big fellas. Doing good well. They're all pretty easy to go, these fellas. Three little bobby cows. Nice and full. Ready to go. Good little carvies. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, did the hardest pin, and he just finished helping me with this pin. I've only got three calves to go. We chucked the fastest ones to the back, and these ones are all fed too. I did chuck one from this pin that was quickest next door. He finished well and faster than everyone else in this pin, so that's the way. Okay, here we go here. Finished, finished. Still needs more. I'm gonna push them over here, get them away from the milk compartments. Compartments with milk in them. Here we go. And the compartments without milk. Little carvies are fed and happy. We'll leave some colostrum milk here just in case they um we need it for any calves that may come down, come back from down the back that haven't had a drink. And we'll take this over and get to washing up. Let's go. And our three bobby calves today. Fed and happy. Hot water rinse them today. I rinsed them, then chucked the hot water through them. I've just squirted out all their teats, so we'll come back, put a quick rinse over them, wash all these buckets up, and we'll get to it some. I don't have to uh, take the tractor down today because I fed out yesterday, so that's great. I'll end up going with um, Dad first because he'll go first. And I'll help him get over the fence, then we'll spread his cause mag, and we can um, go and sort out some little carbies. Got a few on the list today already. We got six. Six calves already on the list. I've calved, so cows calved. So. Woo! Let's get to it.
Another six cows out of here today. Numbers are decreasing quickly. Got another two heifers over there as well. So it's an eight, nine, eight today. <laughs> right, look through the calved cows. When I'm looking for cows, I'm not looking for the number. I'm looking for if they've calved and she's calved. Come on, girl. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, can you? She's calved there. Come on, up, up, come on. You can tell by her uh, fanny there and her um, just in front of her udder. There's nothing in there. So. As you can see there, she's calved. There's nothing in her gut there. It's quite hollowed out. So, awesome. let's get to it. Let's find another one. I'll probably I'll try and show you one that's close to calving. But you can tell it hasn't calved. This one's just straight ahead of us. Yeah, well, Ada's not very big, but she's got a big gut there. And yeah, you can tell she's still got a calf. Big gut just in front of where their udder is. And sometimes you'll even see the little calf kicking, moving around in there. Just keep Top. looking. Three year olds here. Yeah. See, she's got a bit of mucus around her butt and her tail and her udder there. And she's looking for a calf. She knows where it is. Okay, two, four, five, one to go. But we're still looking around just in case. Could have missed a calf. Calf could have walked off and gone and gone for a sleep somewhere. Yeah, uh, Dad, why is that cow on the next break? I know he did. He accidentally let a cow over when he um, was doing cause bag. Okay, let's go and find this last cow. I'm not looking for a number, just looking for what she looks like. That's what a couple of people do, they make mistakes by looking for their number and then they end up trying, it's actually harder to find the cow when you're looking at the number. But when you're looking for the cow that's calved, it's much easier to find her. I see over here, Big freezing girl. Oh, we're not looking for any more. It's got all of them. <laughs> here I am looking for one. If you see this big freezing girl here, she's very, very close to calving. She's bagged up quite nicely. So, with the sunny weather around, they've actually started bagging up. Like you'll see in front of her, out of there, calf sitting there nicely. But I mean, very soon you'll see that calf pushing into the calving canal and she'll go really lopsided. I just found another calf here in the long grass. Dad! Dad! Now we are looking for another cow. Arrow did your little calfy. Little bull. Two girls today and five bulls. Seven. So we are looking for another one. It's in there somewhere. Sometimes, Carby, this is why we look through again. And go and make sure that we've got everybody. So, I'm gonna go back there and find another cow. She's got some mucus on her tail, and she looks like she's had the freshest calf. Right, we'll take her out, give us a little bit of a run around. That's right. Yeah, she's got a gummy leg, yeah. That's right, we're pushing her out. I'll go and wind up this reel. Take girl back over. Silly girl. <laughs> I ran the reel and Dad just hopped on the motorbike. She came out quite nicely. Uh, we'll have a quick look through them again. And then we'll head on out. Into the colostrum mob. Two, four, six, seven. Good numbers. And we still got to go check the heifers, which have got a minimum of two. There. There's our three girls there, our three calves there, two little girls and one little boy. Okay, let's go find your mummies. We know who they are, but we'll look through. There's one right there. Go, okay, mum, head on out. There's one through there and one somewhere around here. One down, two to go. 
That's beautiful eyes, little mummy. There we go. That's number three. Three heifers and three little carvies. With two of those little carvies being girls. Not many heifers left. A couple more like they're going to carve. But that's it on the carving front for today. Blank, blank. <laughs> Arrow. <laughs> Lying away. Now, well, some little carvings have been sprayed the navels because to help with the infection, and that leaves us. We got um, mm. ten today. Seven cows, three heifers. So, and from those ten cows, well, there's ten animals. We have got four heifer replacements. Okay, and there's little beautiful eyes. Hey, beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Look this way. There we go. Cool little eyes. Just up at Dad's here, getting these, getting his uh, beefies out for a drench. See the size difference between those two-year-olds and those uh, yearlings. Sheepers. The yearlings looking nice, so they're growing well. Two-year-olds have grown very well. We'll let them all come out of the paddock here. And then I'll shoot down and get past them down there. Once I've locked the gate and bring them back this way up towards the cow shed. You just need a drench. There's a couple of them starting to get a little fluffy look there. That means you can do with a drench. Come on, come on. Hello. Hey. They smell like milk, do I? From feeding those calves this morning. Small, but you got a good barrel on you. Right. Let's push them back to the yard. Just take them nice and slow. Don't rush them. Don't push them. Hey. They should hang all right, hopefully. We got them moving. They worked it out. Oh, up, up, up. They go into the yard. It's good when they get older, they get used to it. Follow these in, and then we'll give them a drench. First mob the little fella's gone. There's drenching's a big, big fella here. Try and keep the little big fellas separate from the little fellas. And the big fellas will crush the little fellas. Then drench. Here's a view from up at Mum and Dad's, looking over all the neighbours' farms. If you want to know what direction the farm is in, it's over that way. Okay. You can actually see the house and the sheds from here. Just there. So, over the other side of that swamp. There you go. Beautiful view. Neighbours down there, he's uh, spreading some urea by the looks. Go walk around. And then one of the dairy factories we can actually see the top of. It's just over these little white building in the distance just off the end of that ridge there. It's one of the dairy factories we supply. And here's a beefies. All drenched, all happy. They got their bale of silage we fed out up that spur there yesterday. Happy little animals. That I'll see you all at milking tonight. Time for a rest. Breakfast time. Here's a coffee, 50 boys and mummy. Get away from the drain a little bit. Ray, ray. Little girl, little boy. Little girl. Beautiful little girl. Ah. Alright, we'll leave it here. Little girl. Awesome. Dad said he saw another cow over here somewhere. Hello. Cows are looking happy.
for a little cavy, you have. Little girl, that's great. Like mum, looks like mum. Off colour, black. Same colour. Same colour as mum. Hold back, Aaron. Aaron, you're alright, run. Checking for little garbage. Oh, one there, and there's one there. Oh, that's cool. Two more heifer garbage. Oh, heifer calf. Two had a little bull, and 149 had a beautiful little swish in her tail. Oh, she could go tonight. She'd be calving. With that, we better get to milking. Whew, these girls have still got a bit more to eat. Yeah. This will drop their number right down again. Another two out. Yeah, that post, that oh. <laughs> yeah. Dad brings some heifers through. Let's get these heifers in. More than that. Here I Oh, Tess is here. Starting the third row now with these girls. More of them will get added for tomorrow night. Three in the next row, but um, got our first row on here, and there's actually 23 in here. Because we had to make a double up up here to push the hivers up nice and tight. The hope is that they won't aggravate up like uh, number five did this morning, which is this girl here. Don't get too naughty. I'll get the rope again. The tie her leg up so she can't kick the cups up or fix it up. Keep an eye on this one. A little thing that always tends to work with little heifers. They like their butt scratches right here because they can't scratch in there. She loves it. Moves her tail out of the way, means she's enjoying it. Good little scratch. Heifers love it. It also works. This was our very aggressive heifer. It's quite easy to cut. Someone's slurping. Who we got slurping down here? Sorry, girl. Let's go for the milkers headed out. We've got mum just down here, she's just finishing off spraying. She's going to drop the chain for us and we're going to stop the first cow for the next one. It's alright little darling, it's alright number five. More butt scratches for you while we wait. Come on girl, off you go, come on. Oh, six cows left. Let's bring these girls in and get them milked. Hey Jamie! Hey Jamie! Maxine, Maxine! Everywhere though. Oh, see, right our last row here, and that girl worked was actually really good. She didn't act up much at all. Give her a quick pat on the way through, Nanny. Butt scratch. The way she's very nice girl. Okay, let's get this row moving out. Let him go, Danny. Oh, oh, you got it. You yeah. got it. Just testing out, um, looking at our results from our first pickup. She's still going. That's how we feel it. But a cheek. Best way to know if they're done or not. 
cold pipe. Means there's no bolt going in. Which means no bolt going through. So she's finished. Warm pipe, she's still going. Sometimes that little cup down there can be deceptive. No bolt going through it. So check it with a check. And she's just starting to finish up now. We said uh, 723 litres. And our somatic cell count was 105,000. So hold on to those girls. A bit longer worked really well, Dad. Got all our heifers in. Now he's got to get our cows. Come on, 215. <laughs> Turn the little uh, cooler off, switch it over, milk going in here, nice and warm now. Dad's helping us. Here you go. <laughs> and we're just going to get to milking. What we'll do is we'll check out our, check, quickly check our um, classroom girls and then any other girls. This girl didn't give her milk again tonight. Dan said no point continually wasting oxytocin on her when we might need it later on in the season, so. If she wants to uh, go away on a truck, it's her own decision, so. From that, we'll keep milking. Run's going well. So what I do is before we milk these cows, I'll check her. We've already checked her, she already milked, but what I do is I check them, give them a quick squirt out with their teats, Charge house done down a little little heifer. What? Charge house done. Now we'll just check her teeth. Give them a quick squirt out, only a little bit. Now if there's a cook quarter. That way you'll know she doesn't have a cook quarter. Well, she has a cook quarter. She ain't got a cook quarter there, so we're happy with that. So we'll cup her up like normal. And then when the cows are going into the milking herd, we'll give them a quick squirt out again of milking before they go in the herd, in the milking herd. So we know they're all right, not got mastitis. Perfect. Really nice and leather. They're out of here. See you in the morning, ladies. All right, let's uh, take these two buckets down that way so we can take them, take the milk out of them and feed them to the babies. And Dad's going to uh, start with them. That's about right for the colostrum girls. And about a hundred litres, but Tess is probably taking a good 40 litres as well, so probably about 120. Still, we're just going to pull the tub up, see how everything's going out here. Then he's pulling the cups off and turning the cups off. Awesome. 
We're all done. We'll go give Tessa a hand. Mackenzie and Dallas are here. Relaxing back. Good well, help us, Yeti. Tessa's here. here to help. Thank you, Tessa. Oh, good. Doing a great job. She's really fed Dan and these ones. Just going to feed these ones. Yes, I was standing around talking. I probably should be helping. Take <laughs> that some calves around. There's now 17 in that other pen, so we can take the five feeder in and start feeding those others in that pen next door. There's a pen here. These shookies here. There's 12 in here now. Gave us some space. Bit of extra time, so we can hold on to those bobbies for when they're ready to go. Okay, easy as. Apparently the book, milkman's coming soon, and he can come, he's coming to pick up that milk. Oh, here they come, the milkman. Here to pick up the milk. Oh, yeah. That's that drum empty. Yeah. Man, it's nice and empty. <laughs> empty. Empty. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes. Thank you, milkman. Taking your milk. Right. With that, I think we're done today. Ah, yes. I did it yesterday. <laughs> you did do it yesterday. Mackenzie, Dallas, what do we say? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dallas. <laughs> That's what we said today. 1,683 litres. Awesome with that. I'll see you all in the morning.